So you now tell us that all these people who are present, I will name them again, just to be sure that we get to the truth, just to be sure that what, we, what you tell us is something you confirm to be truthful. Yes, sir. Lieutenant yes, sir. Sanasabali. Correct? Correct. Edward, Lieutenant Edward Singate. Correct. Correct. Lieutenant Sadi Buhaidara. Correct. Lieutenant Yankuba Ture. Correct. Army Commander at the time, Babu Karjata. Correct. Uh, Mumudu Baji, currently National Correct. Security Advisor. Correct. Peter Singate, Lieutenant at the time. Correct. These people were there. These people were there. You are on the oath. These people were present. They were there. Okay. So these soldiers who you've mentioned were put in the Land Rover, and you said Papu Gomez was the one, RSM Papu Gomez was the one who tied their hands Correct. behind their backs. Okay. Can you tell us how they were put in that Land Rover? They were just... They seated, open their legs, giving their back to each other. They were just like they assembled them, packed them in that Land Rover. Was anything put over their heads? The time they were taking, the time they were leaving Yundum Barracks, nothing was put on their head. The time they were leaving Yundum to the execution ground, they were not covered. Nothing was put in on their head. I don't know after the time they left the gate, going towards the range, I don't know whether they were covered or not. But inside the barracks, they were not covered. The dead bodies that they brought was covered. Yes. So tell us about how they left the barracks to the range. Yeah, after the time, by the time they tied them and put them in the Land Rover, from there they take off. Sana was leading, followed by Edward Singate, Yanko Boture, Sadi Buhaidara. Then the victims escorted to the range. Who escorted them? That, on top of the Land Rover, I saw, at that time, Sergeant Alajikani sitting at the back of the Land Rover, gun pointing them. Buba Jame was the one sitting in front of the Land Rover. The driver, I don't remember. Uh, let's clarify the issue of this Buba Jame. You mentioned a Lieutenant Buba Jame. No, this is not Lieutenant Buba Jame. This is Buba Jame, known as Kanilai. So you had Lieutenant Buba Jame, yes. who was also arrested Thank you, sir. And in the Land Rover. Yes, and sir. you also have Buba Jame Kanilai, who, escorted, who also escorted. escorted the guys, okay. his soldiers, to the range. Do you know whether any older soldiers went with them? Yeah, these were the guys in that Land Rover. But there were a lot of soldiers, like... Sana's escort, Sadibu Saidara's escort, uh, 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 Edward Singate's escort, they were all there too with them. They all went to the range. Do you remember those who were escorts for Sana Sabali? Yeah, I remember Njai. I remember JCB Mendi. Njai who? Yeah, I don't know whether it's Babu Kanjai or not, but it's Njai, tough, black. Do you recall his nickname, if he had one? Yeah, he have one nickname, but I forget, sir. I forget. But Njai, yeah, I know him in passing. Can you describe him? Yeah, he's a tall, black boy, and he's fit. Tall and fit. Jai Ponkal. Is that the name? <laughs> Is that the nickname? Yeah, class. Yeah, he's my class, the same badge with me. We train together. 
and they call him according to you? Njai Ponkal, he is big, you know, Njai. So, so okay, we have now Njai Ponkal, who else? You have JCB Mendy. JCB Mendy. You have one boy, Churo Ture. Uh, can we get their ranks as well? Njai Ponkal, what rank was he at the time? At that time, private soldier. All uh, these guys I'm naming at that time, they were private soldiers. So JCB Mendy was also a private, a private soldier. private soldier at that time. And you said Churo. Churo Ture. Churo Ture. Ture, yeah. This what was his rank? He was too a private soldier. Who else? At that time. Yeah. Did you have Mohammed Sambu too, if I don't... No, I fully remember these people that I give you, 100%. Okay. How about Edward Singate? Who Edward were Singate, his guards? Marong Lamin Marong, one Marong. But Lance Kopul Samba Jallo. Mm, and this boy, I forget his name. I forget the boy's name, man. It's just like I'm seeing him, but the name I don't remember. But Marong and Samba, Samba Jallo. Lance Kopul Jallo and Marong. Yes. And for Yang Kubature? I don't remember much. Sadibu Haida? Yeah, Sadibu too. So all these guys you have remembered, you said they also went to the range? Yes. Do you know which range they went to? This range we call it Lance Corporal Bojang's range behind Jambai Forest, Birkama. So, when we hear Nyambai Forest range, you are referring to the range in or behind Birkama? Yes. And uh, you have a name for it, Corporal Lamin what? Bojang. Lamin Bojang range. Yes, sir. Correct. And that is the official name for the range uh, yes. in the army? Yes. How far is this range from Sifo? From Sifo, a little bit far, I would say, to my own estimation, maybe let's say four to five kilometers from Sifo. It's not very far from Sifo. So, when soldiers say that those who were arrested were taken to the range near Sifo, would they be referring to the same place that you mentioned? Yes, sir. They would be referring to the same place. That's the only range around that area. That is the only range around that, that area? That I knew, yes. Okay. Um, and then, can you tell us what happened afterwards? Yeah, after being taken to the range while I was in the camp, the time they And I asked him, class, where are these people going with these soldiers? What he told me was, class, are you not a soldier? I told him, yeah, but do you mean that they're going to kill them? He told me, yes, of course. But me, <clears throat> I will not be here to wait. I am not here. I will not be here to see their dead bodies. He told me that I'm going home. Then I told him that me, I'm not going home. I must see what is going to happen to these people. You know. Then I sit at waiting for one, two hours. They brought the dead bodies. They were all killed and they brought them to the barracks. I was there standing. Whose body did you see? I see Sergeant Major say I see his body, I see Lieutenant Jame, I see Lamin Dabo, I see Bakari Mane, I see Kedek Silla. I saw all of them. All of them. With my eyes. Blood was everywhere.
And what happened when they were brought back? When the bodies they were, were brought, brought back? and after the time they brought them, they took them around the cookhouse. That man, it was horrible. Dragging them out. It was horrible, man. And the fun funniest thing, how they were killed. Like they were butchered, man. None of them was gunshot. They were killed with bayonets, man. As a professional soldier, as an experienced soldier, I know. By the time I stood in front of them, I even saw Sergeant Major say hand was broken. One of his eye was removed. You can see the eye. It was dirty killing man. You did not see bullet wounds, but mm. you saw bayonet wounds. Bayonets, man. Butchered. Kill them nastily, man. When they brought the bodies back, where were members of the council? Yeah, they just come and throw the dead bodies there at barracks. If you remember that July 22nd, there was a football match between Gambia and Liberia. We are talking about yeah. November 11. 11. Yes. Yeah, this is what I mean. That November 11, I think there was a football match. Then after they brought the dead bodies, Sana went straight to the stadium. How about Yankuba? They were all there, the stadium. They went there to watch that football match. As if nothing had happened. As if nothing has happened. Exactly. Babu Karjata? Yeah, they all left. Mumudu Baji? They all left. They all left. And leave us with the dead bodies. No, they were sorry. The time they came, they came first to the barracks. Then Sergeant Sise, Ibu Sise, I forget. He was inside the cells. Then they called him out. And he was asked by Sana to do his last prayers. He did it. He do it. Then from there, Sana Saboli told him that march and go and join your friends. Why is the dead bodies we are lying behind the cookhouse? Sana Saboli told him that march and go and join your friends. As he was going, Lance Corporal Boop, he gave first name, please. Babu Kan Boop, I Babu Kan Boop. Bon Boop, Kopun Boop, his first name, I think is Babu Kar, but I'm not sure, but Dim Boop, yeah. He was the one who shot at Sergeant Sese. He gave him two shots on the back and the head. The sergeant fell down. That was the end of Sergeant Sese. From there, Sana 